You know, there. It's like in the states or anywhere else. Um, you know, smart young hip people living in the cities were pretty much fed up with the mainstream culture. In fact, if you want to think about China, it's a little bit like I think the U.S. in the early 60s, late 50s, where mainstream culture was just, you know, so awful. Um, I always remind people that in, in the early 60s, the number one song in America was uh, Doris Day's How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? And that's what people grew up with. So everybody sort of went to, you know, either Haight-Ashbury or Greenwich Village pretty much to escape from mainstream American culture without realizing that what they were creating was going to become the dominant culture. And we're seeing that a bit in China, where the um, mainstream culture and the older generation, which went through the Cultural Revolution, etc., they're very anxious, very cautious, very conformist. And all of these kids that were born in the 80s or later have grown up in a completely different China, but a China that didn't really fit them because they're, what they were looking for was not what, what was being provided. So they ended up having to reinvent a culture that made sense to them. I feel good. 